Hello everybody and welcome back to the workshop. So what are we going to do today? Oh my god, I have no idea. Hey everybody and welcome back to the workshop. So today's job, we're going to be working on seats. And we're going to be working on the bases, the swivel base, and a completely different set of seats that's come out of an Audi to go into a Renault. As you see, if you've already watched one of my videos on uh, disabling the airbag light, and I'll leave the card for that up here. But today it's literally building the base welding up what needs to be welded up, drilling the holes with bolt in, putting it all together, and me showing you how I do it. So, less of my waffling, and more of my doing. Let's get on with it, shall we? <clears throat> right, so first of all, that's the back. So we spin this around so you can see the front. So the seat will be facing that way. Here is the swivel base. As you can see, it's slightly too small for the base. So what we need to do is take this back out, place two bars across there like so, and one there. And then this needs to attach to that. So this is going to give us 30 mil extra height plus two bars width on the bottom and then we'll put another two bars across the top and bolt the seat to the top of that. Sounds so simple doesn't it? Right so first things first is to cut these two bars down so they're level and they fit on the base. There you go, nicely ground off to bare metal. Right, so I've got them in place, ready to weld onto the base of here.
So there you go, all welded on. There's some nice big fat welds there, I know. I'm not having a great time with a welder. And that's because I'm still using my little hobby welder. So we'll leave the welding alone for a minute and I'll explain why. The reason being why I bought myself, or rather we bought, a nice new welder. So, once we've got a new welder, we had to get a gas bottle. So I remembered, when I went and got the gas bottle, I needed a regulator. But they didn't have any in stock, and it was gonna be days and days and days, so I had to go and get the regulator somewhere else. So, I had to go somewhere else to get the regulator. So I got a nice regulator, because we ordered one and got the wrong one. And when I got one, the only problem is, I don't know if it's supposed to come with the actual um, pipe fitting on the end, but mine didn't, and some online do. So I now have got to get the fitting. To go onto there. So back to the seat base. So both those bars are now nice and solidly on the base. As you can see, that fits on there nicely. So now I need to cut this bar to go across the seat, and the seat will then bolt onto this bar. Now I'm gonna be welding this base to the bottom of this. You can bolt it, you can have it all bolted together. But to be honest, there's no reason why this can't be welded on because it's not gonna be taken off for any reason. Um, and then the bar's gonna be welded to this and the seat is gonna be bolted to the bars. So you can still take the seat out with the runners on, yet the bars and all this will be one component all welded up together. <laughs> and it's another day on the seat base. I'm not too sure if I managed to get this on video the other day, but I actually sprayed the seat base. So I've given it a bit of color um, and painted over the welded bits. And um, we're now gonna be cutting a piece of that bar to make for the crossbars for the seat to go on. So let's crack on with it. Day two. Right, length of the bar between each seat needs to be 520. So I'm going to cut two of those.
can do is take these over to the bench grinder and smooth these off. <laughs> From the measurements I've taken, I know I need to go five in from this one. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So I've put a little mark that you probably can't see it. So that hole and that hole at the back will be our mounting points for the bars. What I need to do now is measure between a hole there and a hole there to see the distance of the holes on the bars. So what measurement I'll be making is where to place the holes on the bars here. Right, I've actually marked the metal now, and I'm gonna drill the holes this end, and I'm gonna drill the other end. I am gonna do a little bit of a review. Now, I'm not one for TV shopping or anything, but I do browse the channels now and again, you can't help it. It's just one of them things when there's nothing on TV. I found these on there, and I bought some at a home renovation show many, many years ago. Now they're called drill or drills. Now they come with a 10 year warranty. And what that means is if the drill breaks, blunts, anything goes wrong with it, you send it back and they replace it. Now they ain't cheap by a long shot. I've got the short set. I've got a whole bag full of goodies like screwdriver bits, um, bigger drill bits. I mean, there's some big ass drill bits in there. And then they do the long a box of long drill bits. And that was like 9,900 quid for the set. Now everybody will be going, that's expensive for a set of drills. But since my last lot, I've had seven years. Yeah, I've blunted, I've broken a few, I need to send them back and that's what I'm gonna do. So now I've got two sets. Um, one to keep in the van and one to keep in the workshop. But I must admit, and again, no paper promotions here or anything. This is purely spent out of our own pockets. They are fantastic. And when I say fantastic, I watched an um, advert for on TV. It was drilling through brick, lintels, wood, even a brake disc. So I had to put them to the test when I went to a uh, this home renovation show. It was, I say it was about seven years ago, six years ago, whatever it was. I can't remember. I decided to blow some money and bought a set. And I tell you something, it was one of the best purchases I've ever made. So yeah, drill all drill bits. Give them a go, people. You'll see me drill this out now. Um, and you can let me know what you think. We'll start off small. Drill a small hole first.
Sorry for the shaking, but there you go. Three drill bits, straight through. And that's quite thick. Nice and clean holes. I'm not gonna video doing the other side because I think you get the gist of it. Um, I'll come back to you shortly. Now the only thing left to do is place them on there, weld them, and then bolt that seat to that base. And then we need to sort out the seat belt mounting points. The reason we've got to sort out the seat belt mounting point is because this is the old seat, the old driver's seat. The seat belt comes out up the pillar and then down and it bolts in the side of this seat here. Now on the new seats, there is no hole or provision for the seat belt to attach. So what I'm gonna to have to do is fabricate a piece of metal, put a hole through that, which will allow me to bolt the seat belt point to it. So it's gotta be secure, it's gotta be strong, and it's gotta be able to pass an MOT. So I have actually cut one piece out, and I'll give it a slight bend, and that's it. So there's your seat base. This piece here, will be welded on the side at some point there i'm not too sure yet where until the seat is on the base but we can show you on the passenger seat so there's the actual seat belt point on that side and this this piece here will be well this piece here will be welded about here and as high as it'll go, although it's not going to, so it's not going to fail. Do you know, I can't believe I didn't turn the camera on for that bit. What I've done is, I've ground off the edge here. I've measured the point between the swivel base, and that's 350. It's giving me a centre point. I've given the measurement, the centre point between this bar, which is 520. So that bar then sits right in the middle where it should be. Once I've tacked this in place, I'm going to do the other side.
there you go. Bars welded on. I'm going to let them cool down a bit. Give them a bit of rub down and give it a spray over with some Hammerite spray. I think before we do that, we need to give it a quick test fit. These are not the right bolts, they're not keeping it staying in it. I just want to make sure. There you go, it fits. Hmm. I'm afraid this little box is gonna have to come off because it's gonna fail the handle. Or maybe it's not. My mistake. The seat now goes forwards and backwards. And once it's all bolted down properly, it all rotates. The bars that I've welded onto the plates, I could have bolted quite easy, but it made sense for me to weld them. And that was my choice. I prefer that method, and that's exactly how I wanted it. Anyway. I'm going to get this seat finished off, I'm going to paint the bars, I'm going to get it all ready and I will come back to you when I decide to put this plate on to hold the seat belt. But until then, I will see you in a little while. Right, so now the seat bases are welded up and also painted. Let me show you that bit because I didn't film that, you know. Anybody can use a rattle can of spray, it's quite simple. So there you go, it's been sprayed, lovely gloss back. And so has the seat belt mounting point. And just so you can see, so has this one. So when the seats are put back on and back in the bus, They look nice and new. All I've got to do now is bolt the driver's seat to the base and then bolt the seats back in the bus, including the seat belt. I'm not gonna film that because this video has gone for ages and ages as it is. I think I'm gonna have to edit quite a bit out or do a lot of editing. Anyway, you know I said to you earlier about my new toy, my new welder is working. Let's show you. That's my little beast. And I'll tell you something, having this working now is a dream. Because all the other welding in this workshop has been done, believe it or not, with that little baby. Now, anyone starting to learn how to MIG weld? Get yourself one of them. 
I'll call him a toy mig welder, but I'll tell you something, that has seen some bits and done a lot of work. And it served me well. And I can't remember how much I paid for it. It weren't a lot. The most expensive bit on those small welders is the gas bottles. If you're just practicing, doing bits of welding here and there, they're fine. But if you're running a full blown workshop like this, I'll tell you something, those gas bottles will be very, very costly. That's why we've gone for the big, big welder. But not only is that just a MIG welder, it does arc welding and it does TIG welding as well. You don't need to know that. This is about seat bases, not welders. Right, I'm just gonna bolt all this lock back together. When I've done that, I might give you a little bit of footage of me bolting them into the bus. And then I'll show you when they're finished, what they look like. I think they're gonna look really good actually. Um, I do have to do one thing on one of these seat bases. Let me show you. Right, I'm gonna put a diesel heater under the seat. So the night heater will be placed under here. So there's two bars. Now, let me get this right. Right, this is the back. So this one, I'm gonna cut this bar out. It's not gonna serve a purpose. It, so that gives me plenty of space for the diesel heater to come out and um, for the outlet on it. So that's the only thing I've got to do on this before I fit it back in. Again, cutting off this with a grinder, I don't think you wanna see that. Or shall we go to a bit of slow-mo? Yeah! Right, so the seats are finally in the van. And do you know what I say? They look really, really, really good. Right. You want to have a look, don't you? There you go. Two swivel fit seats fitted in the van. Thing with small vans and that and seats like that, it can be a bit of a pain in the neck to turn around is a knack to it, as everyone will know. The only thing I have got a problem with is if you notice under this seat here, we've got a nice clear space. This here, it's just a little storage box. That is gonna come out because it fouls on that side, the lever for the swivel. So that is the only thing. And well, there you go. The only other thing with this seat is the driver seat's got a little burn mark in it and I never noticed that when I purchased them. But we can repair that, which is not a problem. So there you go. So what I'm gonna do now, swivel them back and show you what we need to do to turn them back around. They need a little bit of a clean up. But if you've seen my cloth seat cleaning video, you can imagine what this seat's gonna look like when they're finished. If you've not seen the video where I clean cloth seats, I'll leave the card up above. Watch that and you'll see how I'm gonna do these seats. I'll be following exactly the same process as I did on that video. And they're gonna come up looking amazing. Anyway, you'll see that at a later date in another video what the seats look like when they're finished completely. Um, for now, we need to be getting on with more stuff. So that's it for the seat bases. Done, dusted, finished. Crack on to the next job. If you've got any comments, leave them below. If you've got any questions, leave them below. But like I said, it's not a job that everybody wants to do. It's one of my jobs that I love doing, actually. I love changing seats in vehicles and seeing a different look. And this one definitely has got a new look to it. Right, stay safe, stay well, stay happy. Bye for now.